simple. There's two scriptures in, in the Bible here in Jeremiah, and they're identical, the same. I don't know if you've ever caught this or not, but I want to read it to you. Uh, the first one is in Jeremiah, 23rd chapter, and it starts about the... Uh, I'm going to start, start about the fifth verse. I'll start reading it. Then I'm going to turn over and read the, in the 33rd chapter. <clears throat> It says, Jeremiah 23, 5. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. <clears throat> and in safely, and this is his name, whereby he shall be called. The Lord, our righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, behold, the day comes, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Now I'm going to go over and read the, the 33rd chapter. And... Uh, <clears throat> 14th verse, I'll start at the 14th. It said, Behold, the day comes, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel, and to the house of Judea. In those days, and at that time, will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David. And he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith she shall be called. Yeah, the first one said he, and this is it, for she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. For this saith the Lord, David shall never want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel. God. Neither shall the priests, the Levites, want a man before me to offer burnt offerings and to kindle meat offerings and to do sacrifices continually. Uh, if, if the Lord will bless me, I'll, I'll try to speak just a few words on that, and then I'll, 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 I'll sit down. Bless the Lord. Um, you, you got that on? Okay. Um, I'm sorry that I... Well, I, I guess I'm just blessed to be sick. <laughs> God, we shouldn't complain about nothing. We are to rejoice. Amen. Uh, like Peter, at time they they told him for him to not to speak anymore in the name of Jesus. And Peter, being filled with the Holy Ghost, he said, "We ought to obey God rather than man." Yes, yes. amen. And that's that's what we are to do here today. Yes. Also, is to obey God rather than man. Yes, and. Speaking of the priests, brother, uh, Israel shall never want a man uh, to stand before him, the priests and the Levites and all. When Jesus come, I believe, brother, that he, he made a new and a living way. Yes. 
the priesthood come to an end, brother, when John the Baptist come a preaching in the wilderness. And now, children, I'm telling you, we are pressed into this kingdom. Yes. How that Jesus set up here in this world for men and women to repent and to come to God with a broken heart and yes, a contrite spirit. And brethren, if they will come in that manner, God said, I will in no wise cast out. And brethren, I'm telling you that David will never want another man, brother, to stand on the throne of his kingdom, brethren, because Jesus fulfilled everything, brother. When he come, uh, he fulfilled the law, brother. He didn't destroy it, but he fulfilled it, brother. Uh, and now, brother, we can take the scriptures uh, uh, from the Old Testament, brother, uh, and we can ask God to give us an understanding uh, and that we can lead it and we can preach it, brother, uh, concerning our welfare here today. We are to listen to what the old prophets has preached and the new, in the New Testament it says and us the apostles of our Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Amen. Read them. Read the scriptures and consider what they're saying brother. How the old prophesied of, the, of, a, of a man that was going to come and maybe he was going to be the Messiah and brother they was a looking for him and brother when he come he made himself manifest to him especially to Nathaniel when Nathaniel was under the fig tree brother and, and Peter went to call him and said we have found him yeah. whom the, um, Joseph uh, in the, uh, prophesied that he would come to Joseph and Mary we have found the Messiah and he said, can anything good come out of uh, that, that city? I can't think of it right now. But anyway, he said, come and see. And whenever Peter brought him to Jesus, Jesus said, behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no God. Mouth is no God. And he said, whence is thou knowing me? And he said, before Philip called me, I saw thee under the fig tree. He said, my God, my God, you are the, the Messiah that was to come. Because I said, I saw you under the fig tree, believest thou? From hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God uh, descending and ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And brother, I'm telling you, uh, uh, Jesus said, I'm going to try to preach this, brother, just a little bit. If you'll uh, you will help me and pray for me a little bit. Uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, while I am in this world, I am the light of this world yes. uh, and brother I'm telling you he said uh, I'm going to go back to my father who sent me and now you are going to be the light of the world brother uh, brother let us help us oh God that we can put away everything every sin that, yes. Yes. that, that is so easily be set us uh, every weight brother and every sin that yes. needs so easily be set us uh, and let us run with patience, brother. Uh, this race that is set before yes, us, and, brother, uh, and let us cry out as much as God will give us uh, and tell the world today that you've got to be born again. Uh, yes. You can't just say, I'll accept Christ no, as my no, personal no. Savior and go on and, and work your way into heaven. Yes, uh, uh, you can't do that, children, I'm telling you. You've got to die that day to the love of sin, brother. And, yes. and there's a death, brother. You've got to die, brother. And, and I don't believe God is going to pray for that, brother. For, brother, I'm telling you, 
You've got to die dead to the love of sin. And when that happens to you, you'll know God, brother. Because, brother, he said they'll all know me from the least to the greatest, brother. Now, I'm telling you children out there, if you don't get the blood applied to your soul before you leave this world, I, I'm telling you children the truth and, and don't get offended, brother, in this word. Amen. Blessed are they that don't get offended in Amen. me. If I tell you the truth, brother, now, please don't get offended at me. If you do, you're getting offended at God's word because I'm going to preach it, brother. Now. And if you die in your sins, uh, you're going to go to hell. I'm telling you, it's a truth. And I hope you don't get offended at me. But if you are, you're uh, offended, getting offended at God. For these are God's words. There's only two places that the whole human race is it going either to hell or you're really going to heaven and you can't go without the blood of That's Jesus true. applied yeah. to your soul <laughs> it'll make a change when Jesus died on the cross there brother and he said father it's finished and, and that old Roman soldier come by and ran that spear into his side and out come blood and water brother uh, Peter or, Jay, or, or John who wrote that scripture brother and he saw that yes, he did. and he saw it brother and he knew that was the fountain uh, how that was to be opened up there in Jerusalem brother uh, and that fountain brother uh, it's a flowing through our land yes, today uh, and brother it's all spiritually brother uh, how the law is spiritually Paul said but I am carnal soul under sin yes. Uh, but brother, the blood of Jesus uh, it's spiritually buttered uh, and it's a flowing through our land today. Uh, if men will just grasp onto it while he's near, yes. call upon him. And when he's near, you'll know it. Because yes. God will make it manifest to you. You won't hear words like you hear from my mouth when God speaks to you. When God speaks to you, you'll know it. And you'll know when you're turning him away, too. I'm telling you, children out there over the whole world, uh, if you hear his voice, uh, that little still, small voice that Elijah heard when he come out of that cave, he saw the rocks being blown and turned and a great earthquake and that a fire was going, but God wasn't in that. But when that little still, small voice come to him, he said, he didn't say it as what I'm saying. He said, that's my God. Amen. That little still, small yeah, voice that he heard. Right down in his soul, brother, he heard it. Yeah. And he knew that was God. Come. And he come out of that cage. Yep. Oh, brother, I'm telling you, I'm going to have to sit down. I'm so weak. And, uh, I just got through cannon 35 quarts of beets this week. Praise the Lord, Pepo. Friday and yesterday I found 13 more. Actually, they all left me. I went out and picked the rest of them the by myself. And I canned 13 yesterday. And right in the middle of it, I got a call. Man, want me to deliver him a load of wood. <laughs> now, I had to get out and do that. And I, I must have caught a coal or something or something. I just, oh Lord, touch my head's all fuzzy. I can't hardly remember my own name sometimes. But I'll never forget. The, well, I'll never forget the name of God. Oh, glory to God. That anointing that He gave me there 58 years ago. It's my love, it's my joy. Yes. I belong to God, and He's mine, and I'm His. Yes. And. I'm just going to say amen and sit down and let Brother Keith come on. Amen. God bless you, Jim.